Yo, what's good, YouTube? Just thought I'd hop on and give you guys another little update video. Um, as you know, uh, I'm Ian McQueenie, your host. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I've been great lately. The weather's been fantastic out here in upstate New York, most random place in the world, Utica. And it's been 80. It's It was 82 today. At one point, my car said 89 because that's how hot it was in the car. That's crazy. My uh, family's on vacation and like, they're not here. The weather here, surprisingly, is better than it is there. And so, I don't know. This is my getaway, I guess. But this is what's up. Um, I've been doing a lot of things this week, just trying to learn more and uh, basically set myself up for the summer and the coming you know, year. My goal of 2023 is to make six figures in profit. Just got to keep re-saying that and uh, re-emphasizing that because it's very important to me. That's my goal. And I got to make it happen because I got to stay true to myself. And uh, another goal is to move to Florida because me and my boy Kean, if you don't know Kean, we got some uh, big plans and we really want to, you know, make some big things happen, right? And so that's the question. How are we going to make these big things happen? So as you know, I'm a content creator. I post on YouTube a lot. I post on Instagram. If, I'm, if you follow my Instagram, I'm, uh, I'm going crazy with the content. But the thing is, I also did videography, freelance work, did a lot of sports content, and I'm still doing it uh, part-time right now. I don't have a job, right? And so I'm trying to figure out ways to make income online doing other things because freelance, it's good. It got me started. I understood business a little bit more now. And uh, it really gave me an understanding of, you know, how to, how to get clients, how to put yourself out there, how to market yourself, gain social proof. So that's definitely helped, right? And same with the content creation. I've learned a lot about, you know, short form content as well as a bunch of other things. Uh, just like presenting yourself, the structure of the video, uh, some on text, you know, or on the screen text for, you know, when people are talking and stuff like that. So I've learned a lot of that type of things, that type of stuff. But I got to find a way to monetize it. That's that's where it starts. And so I believe in my last update video where I talked about it, I came up with a few different ideas for you guys where it was like UGC content, short form content. Um, I had some social media management on there, some social media marketing and, uh, you know, e-commerce. And so I've really sat down the past few days and really talked to myself. I was like, you know what? What are we going to do? What, what's what's the plan, Ian? What are the next steps in this process, right? Because you've got big dreams. you got big goals. And so I've been reading this book, like I said in the last one, The One Thing. Bro, this this book is really like opening my eyes to so much. If you, if you want to check it out, link's in the description. Cop it for yourself. It's really making me question life and everything as a whole. Because basically today what I read in there is basically about if you set a goal for yourself in this moment or for this day or for this week, it's going to be very hard for you to identify what it is that you want. that will put you in the right direction if you don't have a bigger goal set in place either. So you need to think big is what the, the message was. Have a vision of what your life will look like someday and then break it down to what it'll look like in five years, then in a year, then in a month, then in a week then in a day, and then in the moment. So by doing that, you're able to break it down into these steps where it's like, okay, this is the ultimate goal. What can I do today that'll get me closer to my goal for tomorrow, that'll get me closer to my goal for the next week, next month, next year. It just, it's just like that, you know? So it's a big snowball. And the more you can be more clear on your vision of what you want and stick to it, then the more it'll form and just basically create itself and present itself uh, naturally. So I've been really thinking like, what am I good at and what do I have to do and what can I work on? Right. And so I've experimented with some e-commerce recently. If you haven't, um, noticed, actually, I haven't posted anything about e-commerce on here at all, but I, uh, I was messing around with this product. Hold on. I first cop this product made a store called trio port with this. And, um, didn't do too bad. I mean, it was a good starter product, product, starter project. And um, basically it was, it went negative. I'll say that. But the problem with me was I didn't put the time in to create 
organic content that actually converted. I just kind of rushed it all. And then, I don't know. I just kind of like took other people's content and reposted it. It was like, it was not effective, but I got leads and I got like two conversions. I think I made like $187 in profits or not. Yeah. $187 in profits. And then like $200 in sales or something like that. So profit margins were pretty high, made a pretty solid amount. But the only thing was with ad costs, subtract like 400 from that. Cause the first two to three days, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just letting the ads run, got no conversions, didn't change any of the targeting, any of those statistics. And I just wasted my money basically. So that went down the train, but it taught me a lesson where it's like, all right, it's okay to change things. You have to analyze and see what's working, what's not working. So if it's not working, change up the content, change up who you're targeting, change up all that. So initially I had it set up for conversions and I changed it to add to carts. And once I did that, that's when people started adding to cart, got to check out, but not so many people actually checked out. So then that's when I had to develop the whole email list uh, for abandoned carts so they could come back and buy it and no one bought them. So I did my research after that. I don't think I did enough research with this product in the first place. But I found that this product is already selling on a major website and it's very hard to compete against. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a winning product, typically you want to be one of the first people, I believe, to have a store that's actually up and running, that's effective in getting sales. So when I saw this, this guy was selling like this one, he had like four other <clears throat> three in one chargers. He also had like some uh mag snap cases that worked on the chargers he had you know some fancy things for airpods there were a bunch of different things so it had like a whole you know storefront of all of that stuff and i was just selling this one single product and so i saw results but i also had some failures i learned my lessons and uh i decided to just close that store and start fresh so i did a lot more market research i um looked up things that i would probably be interested in that other people would probably be interested too that would be easy to market and also would be effective for change. So I'm a fitness guy, right? And so I know a lot of people who have back pain, who have muscle pain, who have, you know, a lot of problems like with their body sometimes and they can't function correctly. So I was like, you know what? I went on this website and I found trending products at the time. And I was like, you know what? This looks kind of cool. And so cupping, I never actually got cupping therapy on myself. I know people who did, uh, who are my friends, and it looks sick and I heard it's really good for your muscles and it's pretty common actually if you look at like big bodybuilders like The Rock, Alex Bank, all these people they get cupping for you know their muscles and for uh just keeping themselves in check I guess I don't even know um but basically what I got was this thing this is my next product that I bought and I tested it out today as you can see you got a little cupping go going on right here but basically what it is, it's called uh, the Intelligent Breathing Cupping Massage Instrument. But I called it Suction Cup, or no, Suction Cup. I called it Smart Suction. So that's the brand, Smart Suction. And so basically it's a smart cupping therapy massager. That's basically cupping, but you just take it out and you put it on the muscle and it does the whole thing for you. So pretty simple. And now all I have to do is make some content for it and just promote it, whether it's organically or paid. And that's what I also learned. Organic and paid marketing is, it's a toughie because I've done a lot of organic and it's worked, but I've also done a lot of paid. And uh, I've had, I, I feel like I've spent more than what I've made because that's a fact. That's what I did with my previous store. So from that, that was only through TikTok ads. And I learned how, you know, targeting and all that works and creating campaigns and, um, you know, all that other stuff right? But that carries into Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads. It's all, it's all the same, really. It's just about knowing who your target audience is and having the right ad creatives that will actually convert those viewers into clients or sales. And so now I'm really looking at it from a different angle where it's like, all right, you know what? I'm learning this stuff. So I'm, I'm going to continue building the store because I had the store up where it's like, you know, all set and ready. Now all I have to do is market it make some content for this stuff and get it out there. So that's the next step. Then I was really thinking my boy, Rene Lacad, this man, I've been watching him for so long, right? And he's really, um, 
you know, opened my eyes a little bit to the online space because I saw him on TikTok one day and he was telling me like, yo, I live in a penthouse and all this great stuff and I'm making this much money. I used to live like this. Now I live like this. And he seemed like a really cool dude. And like, it wasn't just about the material stuff. It was more so the freedom that he had traveling the world and kind of like doing his own thing. And I don't think too many people know about him, but when I found him on TikTok, he, he really, I related to him on like a different level because this guy had the energy, he had the lifestyle, he had the mindset. He was just everything in one that I wanted to be. And so I've been watching him for a while now. I bought one of his courses, Rockstar Marketing, way back when. And that was my first course I ever bought, actually. And so I went through that and it taught you all about Facebook ads, um, Google ads, all of that stuff, the psychology of marketing, everything. And at the time, I had no idea what the hell he was talking about because, like, it was cool. Like, I was learning that stuff, but I was like, how the hell am I going to implement this into my business, into my life? How am I going to make money from this? And so after that, I just kind of took a step back. And that's when I got into affiliate marketing. And then from there, I got into learning about consulting and coaching. So I know all these different fields. I just have to actually get into it. And then I learned that you need to know sales in order to sell a high ticket product and get on the phone with them. And so back to the main uh topic of renee i saw one of his ads on instagram the other day and i was like yo this is sick he was holding a webinar and it was yesterday at 8 p.m and so you know what i did i enrolled i put my name in there i put my email in there and we set up that enrollment so i could sit down in this webinar so you know what we're gonna get this right so we sat down at eight o'clock we we're talking i was active in the chat putting my name in there, you know, going crazy, answering his questions and being, uh, you know, a good participant, right? So we're going crazy. He taught us about all of this stuff. And the main thing was social media marketing, building a social media marketing agency. So I've, I don't know if you guys know, I've been, I've been experimenting with that. I had experimented with that earlier in the year. And I was making probably about three grand a month doing that with two, two brands, I think three at one point. And I was just kind of lost. I'll say that. I didn't really have a problem with the sales process because I didn't really do it that much. I just kind of, I got the clients handed to me basically. Like it's like the universe was like, here, have these clients. It's, it's your time to shine. And so I was like, all right, cool. And so shout out to those guys who gave me the opportunity to do that. But it didn't last very long because I feel like I wasn't really, I, it was weird. Like the, the actual creative process part of it was what I struggled with and I'm a creative guy so I was really trying to figure out like what the problem was because I got the clients but I couldn't create content that was effective really and so I felt like I wasn't able to create what I wanted to create sometimes and I was being told what to do so it was like it was really tough for me to like get that situated and so these were companies and brands that I was really interested in because they had like content and products that and the message was just all me right it was like holistic health and you know bettering yourself stuff like that mindset so it was all down my alley right and so one of those products was actually this one kale creamer by top shelf grind so i uh, worked with him for about two months went pretty swell and then uh he had to do a little update of the brand and we parted ways so that happened. I learned my experience and I built my, you know, social proof, I guess, from that. And so now I'm thinking that was social media management. That wasn't social media marketing. So if I really want to get into social media marketing, I have to learn ads. And with ads, it's a little bit simpler because what happens is you just create a few campaigns and you just promote them out to, you know, social media. And you don't have to create content every other, like every single day to post on social media uh, website. All you have to do is just create five to 10, I believe, and just promote them in a campaign. See if it works, get your clients some sales, and boom, you're, you're winning. So now I'm looking at it like, you know what? It's time to start a social media marketing agency. And so after that webinar, he taught us some stuff and then he pitched us an offer. And so I took that offer. I had to take that offer. And so now we're sitting here, we're in his course, got a business coach and Renee working by my side and we're going to try and run up the social media marketing agency in the next three months. Cause that's uh, that's the term for uh, what I bought three months. 
So if all goes well, we're going to continue with it. But I believe that I can make this happen. You just have to be confident and be focused and determined to make this happen. I can't be distracted. This is my time to shine, boys and girls. This is this is how it's done. And so it's just, it's crazy how everything unfolded the way it did. And now I feel more confident and more motivated than ever. And now it's just a matter of making it happen. Today was the first day I was able to check off all of my goals for today. Like all of them. And not leaving one blank in the past, like, I don't know, few months. Crazy, crazy. So we're headed in, in the right direction. And one message I would say before I end this video is something that my teacher told me today. And it was about the weather, actually. It was kind of cool because it's really nice out and it used to be shitty. But she said that you start to appreciate things a little bit more when you go through the struggle. And that goes for your life. That goes for, you know, struggling to make money. That goes for not liking, you know, how you feel, how you look, all that stuff. You have to struggle first to appreciate what comes after it. So if you're handed everything... How do you expect to appreciate it? You gotta go through the struggle first. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys, hopefully this video uh, was kind of entertaining. I was just kind of blabbing about myself, but uh, I thought I'd put it into a video format, kind of journal it and document it for you guys and for myself and put it out to the world. So once again, my name is Ian McQueenie. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay, stay tuned for the process because I'm gonna try and scale this agency up to six figures by the end of the year. So stay tuned and um, let's make some cash, boys and girls. Let's get it. You guys have a great rest of your day.